All right, guys, the first thing you're going to need to download is 7-Zip. I will leave a link to 7-Zip.org in the description below. Once you have 7-Zip installed, we're going to head on over to sameboy.github. The link to this page is also in the description below. Once you're here, go ahead and click on Downloads. Now this emulator is available for Mac and Windows. We're on Windows, so we're going to download for Windows. And once you click on it, your download should start. Same boy has now downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now we need to extract this file and this is where we're going to use 7-Zip. So what you want to do is right click on the file, go to 7-Zip and extract the same boy. It's going to create a new folder with all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip file. So let's right click on it and delete it. Now let's go ahead and open that folder. And this file right here, this will be your emulator. Let's open it. Now the first thing we're going to do is set up our controller to get to the menu. You want to press escape and then we're going to click on options and control options. If you would like to use your keyboard, then go ahead and click on keyboard options, but we're going to be using our controller. So we're going to select joypad options. I am using an Xbox one controller with this emulator. And as you see, it has detected that I am using an Xbox one S controller. So I'm going to go ahead and hit configure layout. Now it wants us to press the button we're going to use for right. So I'm just going to press right on my Xbox one controller. I'm going to press the button. I want to be a on my Xbox controller B select, start, open menu, turbo button, the rewind button, which is really nice. Slow motion, hotkey one, hotkey two, and move the analog stick. Okay. Scroll down and select back, back again. And let's go to our graphic options. Now there's not too much to play around with here, but if you would like to change the size of this window, then you can go to default window scale and you can up this eight times the scaling filter. This is basically a filter for your games. The best thing to do is select one of these, load up a game and see which one makes your game look the best. It's totally optional, whatever one you like. I'm going to stick with this one for the remainder of this video. If you would like to change the color correction, you can change that here. I'm just going to leave it at accurate. Scroll down and let's go back and back again. And now we can go ahead and load up a game. So go ahead and locate wherever you have your Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on your PC. In my case, I have a folder here on my desktop called Game Boy Games. And all I want to do is select the game and just drag that game file onto the emulator. So I'm going to do Shantae for Game Boy Color. Drag it in and the game will start up. 